Well, it's been a rough few days down here on the bayou. Um, the storms have been coming in day and night, and uh, they've, they usually don't reach this far down as violently as they have. Usually the tornado parts of these storms stay a little up north. But uh, evidently there was some uh, tornadic activity up in the town just north of us today. And um, uh, a friend said that there were several trees down and the power was out. It wasn't that bad here, but uh, it's just wet and, and been a lot of, lot of thunder and lightning and um, just just not been conducive to getting stuff done but it's quit raining for a little bit and I wanted to take advantage of that and come out and talk about something now a couple videos ago I talked about cleaning kits and I went on a little mini rant about the Magpul Magpul bottle uh, a lube bottle that is made to go up into the pistol grip and and I'm sure you recognize this everybody everybody's pretty familiar with these they go up into the pistol grip of the um, the Magpul pistol grip and it's just a great idea however this thing has always leaked on me um, and I've had some people say oh there's never leaked but most people say yeah there's leaks it's just how it is and I'll tell you something else that leaks if you ever bought any of these small probably the most inexpensive bottle of, of the oil gun oil is the rim oil and these things always leak no matter what well I was I was trying to find I was trying to find a bottle that was of higher quality that would fit in here but you know what CVS frowns on you opening every medicine bottle on the shelf to see what size it is just a little pro tip there and there's birdie hey birdie girl okay you're gonna have to let me get this done because a lot of stuff to knock over today so, instead I tried this. Now I have a family member who has glaucoma and has to take uh, certain uh, medicines, eye drop medicines. So I saved a couple of the uh, bottles and cleaned them out real good after they were empty. And I've put uh, oil in them. Now these are some outstanding uh, droppers. They don't leak. They never have. They're, they're well made. And so... If you have access to something like that, I highly recommend that. But if you don't have that and you have a cat named Birdie who likes to get in the middle of things, you might try this. I just got some regular old plumber's tape and using scissors very carefully cut it in half because it's way too, too wide to accommodate the, uh, the threads on a small bottle. And I used the plumber's tape on the Magpul bottles. And that's a, the one I haven't filled yet. But this is one that actually was leaking. I cleaned it really good. And then I used the plumber's tape. And I got to tell you what. I'm squeezing it pretty hard, guys. Yeah, that thing's not leaking now. So, Magpul. <sighs> Either get some better bottles or throw in some plumber's tape on the bottles. Um, I think that's the answer to this. Uh, you shouldn't have to do it, but you know what? We do what we got to do, don't we? So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and I don't have to worry about these guys, but I think I'm going to go ahead and throw some plumber's tape on both these bottles here. This, this, uh, the hops or hoppies, however you say it, that's never leaked on me either. Uh, and really, I, I want to say that the, the break freeze never leaked too bad. I can't really recall, but this is, this has always been a culprit, this room oil. So I think I'm going to go ahead and throw some uh, regular old plumber's tape on there and I think that'll solve it. Just wanted to share that with you. Hey, thanks for watching.